First of all, let's get the most obvious question out of the way. What is an MVP? And no, in this case, it does not stand for most valuable player. If you've taken any entrepreneurship courses that have dabbled in that realm, you might have heard about it. But for those who haven't heard about it in high school, like I was, an MVP is a minimally viable product. But what does that actually mean? In short, an MVP is a product that has the minimal amount of effort or put in the most basic form to perform the essence of what it was intended to do. Rather than being the flashy demo products that you often see in advertisements or posters, the MVP is bare bones and purely functional in nature. MVPs are important because they are one of the key checkpoints in the development process. MVP should never include fancy aesthetics, overly complicated technical solutions that have lots of features, or anything that doesn't help the user solve their problem. No, MVP should just be a demo or taste of what is to come. Here are some famous examples of MVPs taken from the real world. Most people know that Amazon began as an online bookstore. You may be unaware though that Jeff Bezos started by buying books from distributors and shipping them out to customers each time his online store received an order. The high book sales meant it made sense to keep adding products to the online store, then acquire warehouses, and finally provide each user with a personalized experience on the website. The most famous example of a Wizard and Oz MVP is Zappos. To test his business idea, Nick Swinmorn took photos of shoes he found at stores to see if anyone would be willing to buy a pair without trying them on first. It turns out customers like this model. The central question you should be asking yourself when building your MVP is, am I building what matters? Am I actually solving a genuine problem? Am I validating a solution that can potentially scale? One common pitfall with the MVP, whether it be a product or service, is getting off track, building side features or aspects that detract from the original value or vision. For example, if the problem you're trying to solve is teaching people how to swim, hosting a live workshop for kids at your local pool could be a great MVP, but writing a comic book about it may not be the most appropriate solution. This is a rather obvious example, but note that there are quite literally millions of potential solutions to solving the same problem, teaching kids how to swim. In particular, you'll want to consider how does it affect your key metrics for success? Like, will spending three to five hours on a comic strip actually make people more interested in swimming? or teach them how to swim in the first place. The biggest idea I want you to embrace is learning how to iterate rather than pivot. Iterating means that you change your solution while pivoting means that you change your problem. Here's what I mean. Let's say you're running a swimming workshop and you find out that half the people you're teaching don't really care much about the technicalities of swimming, like how to have perfect form. Rather, they care more about how to not drown and how to survive in riptides and choppy waters. Now, if you're a competitive swimmer who loves these technicalities to death, the exact angle your hands should slice the water, how many strokes you should go before taking a breath, this might disappoint or even frustrate you. You love teaching about these things, but what's up with the people at the workshop? Best spend some time trying to teach them about the marvelous intricacies of breaststroke and butterfly. This reproach, however, is only going to run down a path that ends in a wall. Why? Because your solution is not solving their problem, plain and simple. People can be selfish and want to have their needs met. So rather than trying to get them geeked out on swimming, it's important to learn how to iterate and change your solution to fit their needs. In this situation, it's worth revising the swimming curriculum to discuss how to swim in a variety of survival scenarios, like floating on your back, carrying people to shore, and conserving energy with backstroke. The beauty of the MVP is that it gives us the flexibility to do this to iterate effectively and quickly. We're not focused on perfecting irrelevant features. Rather, we need to prioritize getting the most important information to the customer as quickly and effectively as possible. Remove all distractions. Cut to the heart of the problem. This is a mentality you want to embrace in this unit of getting your work and gift out there as fast and simply as possible. Don't get caught up in the distractions and weeds and keep your eyes on the prize. Build a solution that actually solves a problem people care deeply about as quickly as you can.